and we are live. Welcome to Glamour's Closet, guys. Everybody, um, I thank you so much for stopping by the video. I'm uh, Dana with Glamos Closet. They call me Glamos. See the shirt. Um, and we're going to talk tonight a little bit about uh, boots, um, specifically leather boots. And please note that this video does not apply to suede. Uh, it also does not apply to patent leather. So please be aware of that. Um, we're talking about these types of boots, and I'll show you what types of boots I'm talking about. These are boots that I picked up while I was out thrifting, uh, and I found them at the Goodwill bins, uh, the Goodwill outlet. Um, the first pair is it is just incredible. It's a uh, pair of cowboy boots, uh, Tony Llama cowboy boots. Um, and if you know anything about cowboy boots, you know that these are the expensive ones. They're hand nailed on the bottom, um, and they have had a lot of those have had a lot of uh, a, a pre enjoyment. We'll say. <laughs> um, the next pair of boots that were uh, that I'm working on tonight are a pair of. Ariat boots. Um, if you don't know Ariat, uh, th these are Ariat work boots, but um, Ariat is a really, I mean, you could just feel on the leather Ariat. It's a really, really great brand. And again, uh, if you know anything about boots, you will know who Ariat is. Um, and if not, just go look them up, Google them. They're nice boots. Now, the third pair of shoes that we have tonight, unfortunately, I didn't find the boot version of this, but I did find the shoe version, and they are huge. Um, so, you know, I guess props to somebody's son. Um, these are uh, size 12, and they are a, uh, I don't know if you can see that on the bottom, but these are uh, these are Doc Martens. So these are uh, Dr. Martens, I guess you would say. Um, and uh, they are made in the UK. Um, and it is this type of leather that we are talking about. So boot leather, work boots, cowboy boots, um, working shoes, that sort of thing. And my father, actually, I grew up with a father who was very much a blue collar man. Um, and Cowboy Willie, you probably saw his picture on the thumbnail. Um, and my father, I would always watch him, watch him uh, cleaning his boots. And he took such good care of his boots. He wanted to make them last as long as possible. So uh, what he would do is start off with a little bit of dish soap um, and about, we're talking about a tablespoon of dish soap and he would, he would put, put that with a cup of warm water and swirl it around. Um, and then he would dip a sponge or a wash rag into that and dab it on the, on the parts of the boot that were on top that were dirty. So he would dirt, like if he got boot, if he got some dirt here, he would he would just dab it into that Dawn water and on or palm olive water in the, in this case, um, and and uh, wash the boot. Now I do like Dawn because um, it does it does take grease out of your way. Um, not sponsored by the way. Uh, so yeah, I have a big old bottle of Dawn and I just put some of this in um, the little cup and I make my Dawn water. And I do that uh, specifically for uh, the boots. Um, the first thing that, that you ever wanna do with boots is get them clean. So my first order of business was to get the, boot, the outside of the boots cleaned. Uh, and I did that with the Dawn water. And again, um, I very, very gently, very gently. Um, now on the bottom of boots, and especially ones with really heavy treads, sometimes you can get just goop just all in between those treads. This is actually melted from some sort of a, a tar or something. I'm guessing these were roofers. Um, but, uh, but with a thick tread like this, sometimes you have to use a butter knife to get in between and actually pick rocks out and things like that. That's just part of what's going on. Um, but I always do like to put, to dip this in the bond, in the uh, Dawn water and scrub the bottoms too. A lot of times uh, with the warm Dawn water, that'll come out. This is, um, this is 
uh, it's actually a nail brush with an emery board and a little grater thing for your nails. Um, but I pick it up at the dollar store, cheap, and I can just scrub the bottoms of those boots and get them really, really fresh and clean. You can tell I've scrubbed them because they're leaving a wet spot. So as soon as I've done the cleaning on the boots, I like to wipe them down. Um, typically, I'll take a, a cloth like this. It's it's like a, a a cloth that doesn't hold too much water, so it's not it doesn't sop the water on the boots um, on the leather because you really don't like sopping wet leather. Um, it's not just not good for the leather; it dries it out. So I usually take this and I will run it under the water, um, squeeze it out, and then it's almost like a chamois cloth, and then just sort of go over those soapy spots and make sure that all the soap is removed. And you'll probably end up rinsing this several times after you've removed the soap. The next important thing, the next most important thing to do is to dry your boots. You have to give those boots time to dry. And that is uh, what I'm doing with a couple of these pairs right now. Um, the cowboy boots have uh, luckily fully dried, but but the other two boots are still in the drying process. Um, and I just, you need to have the leather completely dry if you have the leather completely dry, it prevents the boot from molding because leather uh, is skin. Ugh. Um, but it doesn't have any cells below it renewing it uh, to take in the moisture. So if, if you leave them wet, they're going to mold. Um, so it, as soon as your boots are fully dry, and I mean fully dry, uh, make sure that you have some sort of a, a light conditioner for them. And you want to always start the process with a light conditioner, or at least I did, um, and my father did. And I, I spray a little bit of the light conditioner on it, and I go over it with another rag. And this is actually uh, this is actually the one I used on these boots. You can tell it's been well used tonight. Um, and it, it's just a, a lint-free cloth. Um, these were from a, a pair of Bruno Magli that that uh, that I I like the cloth. <laughs> um, so once I have rubbed in those and, and, and um, I've done that with these boots, once I've rubbed in that spray on, then it's time for the good stuff and the good stuff kits. Um, there are several types of good stuff. My father used to use a little tin and he always had black boots. So he would use a little tin of black shoe shine and uh, get it out just a little dab at a time and then and then rub it on the shoe and then brush the shoe. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with that, but um, uh, times have changed and I have different colored boots to do. So I use this. I use Doc, Dr. Martin's wonder balsam and again it's not spon i'm not sponsored by doc martin i'm not sponsored by any of these people um the dollar tree or anybody but i do uh love to use the wonder balsam now it comes with the little sponge and the little sponge is great for application but for a really great shine i usually like to give it a little bit of a horse brush and i'll show you what i mean so we're going to dip out just a little bit and i'm going to show you what I'm doing, I'm just I'm just applying the Wonder Balsam on, and the Wonder Balsam it'll it'll have a little bit of a dull background, and to really shine this shoe up, what I want is the softest horsehair brush that you can get. Um, they sell these shoe brushes. I always love a vintage one though. The vintage ones seem to have they just seem to work better for me and I think they're softer. Um, so it's a, it's a hundred percent horsehair brush and I just take it and I go across what I've shined. And the very best way to get the, to get the most coverage is to put your hand, you got to put your hand inside the shoe, honey. Um, now with these, I actually cleaned the bottom and conditioned the bottom because these are Tony Llamas and the bottoms are leather also. So, uh, so we always want to be cautious about that. So here I am, and I'm just gonna shine up the boot. And this is how this is how my father did it. Um, it's really difficult to do it on camera, um, but I remember sitting and watching him uh, work on his boots, and uh, as a little girl, and it brings back great memories. Um, so I'm going to put on this coat. 
and I let that coat sink in and then I will actually put on another two coats before it's over with. So for a fully clean boot, it usually takes me about three days to fully process them. Um, and a final note, um, I don't have the I don't have the product in this room. I totally forgot to bring it. Um, but they do have shoe sprays that are sanitizing shoe sprays. And I always, 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 when you get secondhand shoes or when you get secondhand boots, always spray the inside, at least give it a couple of good quick pumps. And if it's something tall like a cowboy boot or if it's got, you know, extra space like this work boot, um, you have probably three pumps would be best. Now, my dad would do it if, if my mom would pick them up at yard sales. Um, my dad would do it with Lysol. It works, but it's also not as um, it's not it's also not as shoe friendly as the actual shoe sprays are that we have now. So that is uh, from point A to point Z. Once I get these fully conditioned, I'll be photographing them and putting them online for sale. Um, but I just wanted to kind of share that with you and let you know, you know, this is how I do my cleaning. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, uh, if you haven't, hit like and subscribe. And never forget, no matter what you're cleaning, Glamour loves you. I blow you a kiss, but I have shoe hands. Bye.